point P with coordinates 2, 1 and point Q with coordinates 1, 2 are points in the plane. Find the bearing of P from Q. From vectors, we know that the bearing of P from Q will be given by the direction of the vector QP. And the vector QP is equal to the position vector of P minus the position vector of Q. So we first have to find the vector QP. And then after that, we will find the direction of this vector QP. The direction of the vector QP will give us the bearing of point P from point Q. As we can see here, the vector QP will be equal to the position vector of P minus the position vector of Q. The components of the position vector P will be the coordinates of the point P and the components of the position vector Q will be the coordinates of the point Q. The coordinates of the point P are 2, 1. So it means that the component of the position vector P will be 2, 1. And the coordinates of the point Q are 1, 2. So the components of the position vector Q will be 1, 2. So the vector QP will be equal to 2, 1, minus 1, 2. 2 minus 1 will give us 1. 1 minus 2 will give us negative 1. So the vector QP is equal to 1, negative 1. We now have to find the direction of this vector QP. The components of the vector QP is 1, negative 1. This means that if we want to move from point Q to point P, let's assume that this is point Q. If you want to move from point Q to point P, we first have to move one unit towards the right, and then we will move one unit downwards. So one, negative two. The one here means that we will move one unit towards the right, and the negative one here means that we will move one unit downwards. And that will bring us to point P. So from point Q to point P, we will move one unit towards the right and then one unit downwards. And that will bring us to point P. We are looking for the direction of the vector QP. So the vector is QP. That is from Q to P. The bearing of a vector is measured from the geographic north to the line joining the two points. So if I draw my four main cardinal points here, the bearing of the vector QP will be measured from the geographic north, that is from the geographic north to the line joining the two points, which is this line. But as we can clearly see, the angle that will be formed here, let me use a different color so that you see it. The angle that will be formed here will be 90 degrees the angle formed there will be 90 degrees so in actual sense the angle we are looking for will be the angle formed here i'm going to use the black pen it will be the angle formed here that is the angle we are looking for because if we're able to get that angle we can add it to 90 degrees to get the bearing of p from q so the angle we are looking for is the angle formed here which I've represented by theta. If we look at this diagram carefully, we can see that we have formed a right angle triangle with the angle at point Q being theta. We have point Q here and this is point P. The length of this side is 1 and the length of this side is also 1. 1 is opposite to theta and this 1 is adjacent to theta. We have opposite and adjacent, so we are going to use tan. So tan theta will be equal to opposite divided by adjacent, which is 1 divided by 1. To get theta, we will find tan inverse of 1 divided by 1. Tan inverse of 1 divided by 1 will give us 45 degrees. So it means that the angle formed here is 45 degrees. But as we have seen, the bearing of point P from point Q will be measured from the geographic north to the line joining the two points. We already know that the angle formed at this point here is 90 degrees. And we have found theta 
to be 45 degrees. And so, to get the bearing of P from Q, we will add 90 degrees to 45 degrees. So, the bearing of P from Q is equal to 90 degrees plus 45 degrees. 90 degrees plus 45 degrees will give us 135 degrees. And so, the bearing of P from Q is 135 degrees.